this demonstration, we are going to show some ways that analysts and GIS specialists can use the power of simple spatial analysis to solve complex business problems. The business problem we're going to look to address is 5G site selection, and we'll primarily use spatial analysis tools through an ArcGIS desktop application called ArcGIS Pro. Leveraging this application, Analysts have access to a wide range of spatial analysis toolboxes that all contain spatial and statistical tools. This ArcGIS Pro app also provides some common spatial analysis workflows through an easy to use, wizard driven interface. One of these workflows is suitability analysis that can be used to locate areas that are suitable for new 5G wireless sites. Now, when planning new wireless sites and determining if a location is a good candidate, there are most likely many variables that analysts factor in. Some of these variables might be related to the demographics of the potential subs that a new wireless site would serve. Some of these variables might be network statistics driven, for example, locating areas of poor network coverage or high network utilization but limited capacity. But whichever specific variables your analysts factor into their site planning, suitability analysis in ArcGIS makes it quick and easy to spatially analyze all of these variables together in a weighted model. Here, in the suitability modeler, we've already brought in some of those variables, like Form 477 data and a few of those network statistic variables. Through this wizard, we can select one of these variables and reclassify the values based on importance in our analysis. For example, I'll select the RSRP signal strength variable and view the distribution of values in the transformation panel. It's through this transformation pane that we can classify areas with poor signal strength as higher value in the suitability model. On the map, we can see this transformed layer. The areas with lighter to darker green symbology have a higher score because those are the areas with poor coverage. Back in the suitability modeler, we define a final overall weight for each of these variables. And the final output of the model is this suitability heat map. The areas in green have a higher suitability score, which means based on all of the input criteria, these are the areas with the highest suitability for our 5G site selection. Adjusting the variable weights and rerunning the model is easy as well. For example, let's say targeting daytime population is the highest priority for our 5G site suitability. Adjusting the weight in the model produces a new suitability map where we can see new green areas deemed highly suitable to address daytime population. Now that we have our final 5G site suitability map, let's look to prioritize some of these wireless site candidates. Here is a layer of approved or potential candidate structures and sites that we now want to add our suitability scores to. Searching through our spatial analysis toolboxes for the extract values to points tool brings up a tool that will allow me to append the suitability scores to each of our candidate sites. Next, let's select the candidate sites on the map with a score of greater than or equal to 7. Finally, we'll select from this selection the sites that are within 500 feet to our existing fiber backbone. Now we have a final list of 5G candidate sites to choose from. These sites are located in the best areas to address those input variables we originally used in the suitability model. This workflow may be one that analysts and GIS specialists regularly perform, so it would be great to automate some of these tools and tasks. Built into ArcGIS Pro is a history list of all of the spatial analysis tools that we've previously run. 
which means we can select the history and reopen a tool with all of the input parameters preset. ArcGIS also offers a model building experience to string multiple spatial analysis tools together to build your own repeatable workflows. Selecting all of the history from the tools we just ran and dragging them into Model Builder creates a repeatable model following the workflow we just performed running each tool individually. This model can be saved, shared with a team member, and even published as a server-side spatial analysis web service. And for those analysts who want to extend or integrate the spatial analysis tools into larger analysis workflows, these tools and models can be exported right to Python. As we've seen in this demonstration, ArcGIS provides analysts and GIS specialists with a wide range of easy to use spatial analysis tools that can be leveraged in ad hoc analysis or built into repeatable workflows like 5G site suitability.